Robbie Williams has said he is terrified of death after the sudden passing of his friend Shane Warne. The 48-year-old singer admitted that the cricketer's death left him contemplating his own mortality. His passing has inspired me to think about life in a different way, and the fragility of life is terrifying," said the rock DJ singer. He admitted that had always admired the 52-year-old cricket legend and added, If you don't love Shane Warne, you're an a-hole. Robbie is set to be filming for his biopic Better Man in Melbourne and will perform a one-off show at Rod Laver Arena in April. The Take That singer recently sold his Beverly Hills mansion to Drake for a reported $50 million. It's believed that he initially wanted to sell the property for $80 million but struggled to find a buyer. Has now sold the Tuscan-style home with three acres of land to Drake in an off-market deal. He shared the home with his wife Ida Field, 42 and their four children, Theodora, 9, Charlton. 7, Galette, 3, and Bo, 2. Shane's body returned to his native Australia today, almost a week after his death in Thailand. The private jet carrying the Spin King will touch down at Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport following a nine-hour flight. confirmed that he died of a suspected heart attack on the island of Koh Samui last Friday. Fans will be able to attend Shane's state funeral on March 30th at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. His loved ones are also set to hold a private ceremony for him as early as next week. Shane's former doctor has spoken out about his death, blaming it on his lifestyle. Dr. Peter Bruckner spoke about the sports star on Triple M Breakfast with Basil and Zab on Wednesday. He said that Warren's death was the result of smoking and a poor diet. Warney, if he had heart disease, which sounds like he did, you know, that didn't happen overnight in Thailand. It's been happening for 20, 30 years from smoking, poor diet, etc., etc. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. The doctor said those who are approaching middle age should get a blood test annually. Once a year, for a checkup, from the age of 35, 40 onwards, he said. The issue with these things is you don't develop heart disease in a minute. It's a very gradual process. He shared a tribute to the cricketer. None of us can really believe it, can we? He was a larger-than-life character. Web celebs at mirror.co.2 core call us direct 0207 29